Welcome to Mode, an interactive installation of fashion and art diversion by Vito Gross. Your pass to this event is the dome pin you received with your ticket. You must wear this at all times while inside the Mode event. Failure to wear the dome will result in ejection from the event. There are no other rules. Hey, what's up? Things you'll do for pain. <laughs> Really hoping to meet John Casavetti's here. Can't wait to get smashed with you guys. And enjoying the age-old pastime of mingling with the young, the beautiful, and the creatively endowed. And so far, Vito has not let us down. The scene here tonight has been what I'm going to call chic and freak. Local art fans will remember last year's apocalypsing karaoke catastrophe at the Hideyoshi Tower with its shocking animal acts and giant inflatable body parts. While this year Vito has toned down the shock, toned up the shtick, mixed in a black and neon cabaret decor and set the whole thing against the backdrop of high-tech haute couture. But the question on everyone's mind tonight, what will Vito do for an encore? For weeks now, he has been hinting in the press that this might be his last multimedia event. Indeed, perhaps his last public appearance. Oh, sorry. Start again. Okay. But the question on everyone's mind tonight, what will Vito do for an encore? For weeks now, he has been hinting in the press that this might be his last multimedia event. In fact, perhaps his last public appearance of any kind, and that he plans to go out with a bang. Well, the rumors floating around the room tonight are as strange and fascinating as the fashions. Whatever happens, you can rely on me to be your eyes and ears on the scene. This is Charity Flame for Nightlight Magazine. Did we get it? Great. Thanks. Hi, enjoying the event? Ah, glad to hear it. Listen, I'll be taping some individual comments later. If you want me to get you in there, I can. Okay. All right, well, got to go now. Got work to do, but hope to see you later then. So what do you say? You look like you're in the appropriate party mood. It's not really my scene. I feel like I don't fit in. I, uh, I'm actually an art collector and I don't get out to these fashion things very often. Thanks. You're looking pretty good yourself. You know the host? You don't know Vito? That's strange because this is his bash. As a matter of fact, that's him in the booth right over there. It's quite a character. Listen, I like you. I don't know why sometimes I get a feeling and I just have to run with it. And I'm about to take a pretty big chance with you right here. Are you ready for it? Listen, I can't believe this, but... But I'm ready to confide in you. This is going to be risky. And I want you to, well... Actually, no, no. Forget it. All right? Are you sure? Because I don't know, this could be dangerous. Okay, you asked for it. I'm a cop and I'm undercover. I've been trying to get a bead on this Vito guy now for quite some time and it's not panning out. I've been watching he and his friends all evening long and I'm getting nothing. I rented a suit and the whole works for this soiree. Listen, if I don't get something soon, I'm gonna be pounding the traffic beat again with my badge up my butt. I'm desperate. I really need your help. Will you do it? You better be sure this isn't a game. Okay, here's the story. Vito's been spreading the rumor that he's involved with some kind of a cult called the Edom. Kind of a Freemason thing with uh, secret gland shakes bent on world dominance. My sources tell me that's a lot of crap. He's actually involved with some kind of a new cult called the Meadow out of Japan via South America.
they deal in some new synthetic narcotic called Demo. I know it sounds pretty far-fetched, but have you seen some of the characters this guy hangs around with? Like Riel. This guy's a half-tribal type of guy, a mohawk, wearing a bizarre-looking tuxedo tonight. We've been trying to pin drug smuggling on this guy for quite some time and haven't been able to do it. If he's involved, I know this drug's involved here. Then there's uh, Mia. Mia Tesla, Vito's girlfriend. I know she's involved here somewhere. I need an agent. Vito's as tight as a drum, and real man, he's got a sixth sense when it comes to cops. Mia. <laughs> Mia's too bizarre for me to get close to her. But you. You're somebody that people trust. You could get close and get the information that I need. Listen, I have to go make a phone call right now, but I'll be back a little bit later on. What is it? I don't know you. You haven't got a dome. If I don't know you and you haven't got a dome, then that means you're crashing my party. And while that makes you fascinating, it also makes you potentially dangerous. I like that. But get a dome, or I'll have Tuba throw you out. Oh darn, I'm all out. I'll tell you something that you don't know about me. I am the soul of tolerance. I can accept a lot of things. The inevitability of death, world poverty, the price of a good pair of shoes. But get a dome or go home. Okay, I know a place you might go. At the back, a dark-haired guy. His name is Rial. He's wearing a feather bolo. I think he's your only hope. Good luck. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I'm working on this machine. Just look around, there are lots of free terminals. Hmm? What's that? I'm sorry. Um, I, I wasn't just, I wasn't paying attention at all. I'm kind of Mr. Fix-It around here and I've just got to configure this machine for... Anyways, you'll have to excuse me. Hey, if you've got it, don't put it on. If you don't, you're in big trouble. I saw Tuba around here a minute ago. And if he sees you, he'll toss you for sure. Oh, I'd give you one, but I don't have any. I gave them all to Riel about an hour ago. You know Riel, uh, part native, dark hair. Go find him, I think he's in the back. Do it now. <laughs> 